Hello, it's Fran. Today we're going to work on equilibrium constants, but before we get started on this, we have one little thing to do. The kit, when it comes, has um, sodium hydroxide in a concentrated 0.2 mole form. We need to dilute that down to a 0.1 mil. Um, we're going to need 60 milliliters of it in total for all of the experiments in this course. So in order to do that, we need to add another 30 milliliters. We have 30 milliliters here. We need to add another 30 milliliters of dilute H2O to that. So before we get going, I've got the lab coat on, so you should have, should have your apron on. Safety goggles. We have the concentrated 0.2 um, sodium hydroxide. And here we have 30 milliliters of distilled water. Open the cap and very gently we're going to pour the water into the sodium hydroxide. Tilt it away from your face and make sure you don't get any backsplash on this. Nice and gently down the side. There we go. So this dilute sodium hydroxide is going to be good for all the remainder of the experiments. The label says 0.2 mole, but we need to change that to 0.1, so just take your sharpie, cross off the 0 0.2, write 0 0.1 mole, and we're good to go. In the kit we have everything else prepared. We have the acetic acid, we have the turmeric indicator, we have our stand, we have this pack here which has our syringe. Um, and the stopcock that's in there. I've got two 100 mil um, beakers because they're they, they ask for one but I've got two. Um, small graduated cylinder, the pH meter, you'll see why I have the extra um, beaker here, some pipettes and we are good to go. Open the syringe, remove the plunger, always fun when you hear the pop, and attach the stopcock to the end. When it's in the vertical position, you know that it's open. When it's in the horizontal position, you know that it's closed. Okay, we're going to be using it this way. and secure. Okay. Next we're going to measure out 15 mils of our diluted sodium hydroxide solution and put it into the syringe. Again, nice and gentle. I like to do a 10 and a 5. There's my 10. Make sure it's closed position. I should have had a beaker underneath it. Five more. Again, follow the meniscus for this. Okay, we can see that we're not exactly on um, the 15 milliliter mark, but we're there, thereabouts. What you need to do now is just record the level that you're at right here. All right, next we're going to take our beaker. We're going to add 80 milliliters of distilled water to that. And with a pipette, we're going to add 0.5 milliliters of acetic acid. You will see on the pipettes that they do have markings. This one actually has a, a 0.5, so it has one milliliter, two milliliters, but it also has the half milliliter markings. So 
So we're just going to take it here to the half milliliter. And we drop that into the beaker of distilled water. Next up, we have to put 15 drops of the turmeric indicator into the water. I've had some problems with uh, the eyedroppers um, that they give. It looks like you can just do 15 drops, but even if you squeeze it, I'm getting nothing out of this. So take a knife, take the dropper off. You're going to have turmeric indicator on your fingers. So pet. Okay, 15 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so now we see that the solution is consistently yellow throughout. All is good there and we're going to move over to the pH meter. If you've not used one of these before, it's very simple. You'll see when you pull off the cap that there is a little sensor here. Um, very often it's crystallized when you take it out of the box. Don't worry about that. Just rinse it off with distilled water and it will be fine. Um, on the top is the on off switch. You'll see the numbers. If the numbers do not appear here, um, you might have to contact eScience Labs to get them to send you a replacement. I know I had an issue with the first one of these that I got. But just take some distilled water to remove whatever we have on this. Okay, now we're going to take the 6.86 at 25 degrees C solution. Going to take the large beaker, um, filled up to 250 milliliters of distilled water. Two hundred and fifty milliliters, and into that we are going to take our six point eight six buffer solution. Make sure we get all of it. Rip it open, drop it in, just like salt in water, and with a clean pipette, I like to just push it around until it dissolves. So. Okay, so here we are a few minutes later. It's all dissolved now. Clear the pipette. We take the pH meter, put it in there. We know from the container that it is 6.86 at 25 degrees. It's about 20 five degrees in here at the moment. And just wait for a couple of minutes. We're getting a 6.1 reading on this one. So you'll see in the container for the pH meter is a little screwdriver. We just take the screwdriver. Turn the display to you. On the back, there's a little calibration toggle. You just turn that until it gets to 6.86. I'm going to take it to 6.9 and then back it off a touch. Okay. So if you take this, just put it into a Tupperware, something that you can seal and keep. It'll be good to have this buffer solution for future labs so that you know what the pH is. Make sure you label it as the 6.86 at 25 degree buffer solution. Um, so that way you can keep your pH meter in check. 
So now we have our turmeric solution down here. We have our sodium hydroxide solution. I've moved the syringe a little bit closer and slightly off center so that I can place the pH meter in. We're going to take a level, give it about 30 seconds to adjust. It takes time. We've already recorded the level here on our table. Okay, I've got my pH reading. For this level, And now, very carefully, we're going to turn the stopcock around. It's a little bit stiff at first, so we turn it so that we're going to get half a milliliter. Slow and steady. You can see it coming through the channel. There's our half milliliter. Take the pH meter, put it back in again. Give it a little while to readjust. So now we log our measurements here and here.